Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org, back with another video for the new Boston. Now, we've already looked at file handling and how to, um, you know, open a file, have a look at the contents. However, what we need to look at is how we can read a specific directory and list all files. So you've probably already um, already guessed there's going to be a loop somewhere in here to loop through the uh, contents of a directory and display each file. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to just be displaying this as a list and then we're going to create a hyperlink for each file so we can click on it. Now first of all let me explain why this might be useful. Let's say you were creating some kind of uh, file based photo gallery and you wanted to have uh, several folders for example let me just take a, let's just take a look at the directory stu structure that I've chosen I've got file.php which I have open in my text editor and I've got this files directory here now inside here let's just put a star in there we've got first file.txt second file.txt and third file.txt now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking inside this files directory and listing all files now what happens if these were images you may have uh, you may want to create a PHP script that searches a particular directory for a list of images and then displays them on a page. So you can adapt this example that I'm going to use really, really easily into your website and for your own purposes. So we're going to be using two different functions. We're going to be using the open directory and the read directory. Now you've probably guessed the difference between the two. The open directory uh, function will actually open the directory and load it into a handle, much like we've done previously with loading um, a file uh, into a into a handle then we can do something with it with the read directory we're going to put this into the loop and create the read directory as another variable so the read directory is going to read the handle which is then going to um, equate to another variable called file so you'll understand probably a bit better when I go into the example and show you so the first thing we need to do is set up um, a variable called directory and I'm doing this simply so I can reuse this over and over again in my program now remember the directory that we want to open is files so I'm going to just type in files there I'm not going to include any uh, trailing slashes or anything like that I'm going to let my um, my uh, program handle this um, later on especially when say you were releasing this to releasing some kind of script that you use this to the public you might want to create a variable such as uh, file to uh, read or something now you don't want your user to have to think oh do I need to put a, a slash there or a forward slash here or whatever so you just want to have um, this uh, as a single um, a single string with no, no other symbols in uh, just to make it a lot easier for you and anyone that might be looking at your code so now what we want to do is we want to create a handle for with using the open dir um, open dir uh, function so we say handle equals open dir and obviously we're going to be opening the directory that we've just specified but then what we're going to be doing is appending on a forward slash so in actual fact when you read it in here the directory is going to look like that but um, we're just leaving this up to uh, this line of code. Now we need to ensure that this uh, returns a true value, so we need to ensure that this actually does open before we continue with the rest of our code, otherwise the rest of our code is gonna be invalid. So what we need to do is put this in an if statement, much like we've put in a few other things like connecting to a database, for example, or, um, or just anything really we want to return true so we can do this we can set a variable um, at the same time as calling a function so if this is true then we need to go ahead and uh, continue with the next step now just for um, just for purposes of you know aesthetics making it look nice I'm gonna echo out looking inside and then I'm gonna put the directory name just here so I'm gonna say directory like that so it will it'll read looking inside files this is another reason I didn't do slashes because it we're just gonna just specify the directory as plain string uh, you know how we uh, how we want it to look and what we're looking inside and I'm just gonna append a break on there I'm also gonna enclose this directory um, text um, in um, inside um, single quotation marks let's have a look at it at the moment Okay, so it says looking inside file, so I want just single quotation marks on the outside of this to ensure that we uh, enclose it. So I'm going to put a single quotation mark there and escape that character so it doesn't interfere with the start or end of our string. And I'm going to do the same just after that break and then put a uh, escape string there, escape character there, I'm sorry. So now let's refresh and we can see that that's just been... Uh, uh, enclosed in um, single quotation marks. And we can even then just add a colon just to make it look a bit nicer. 
Okay, so we've established um, our little welcome or our little message telling uh, everyone what we're doing. Now what we need to do is we need to um, actually read the directory. So this is slightly different. We're going to be using a while loop. So let's come down a bit and we'll set up the skeleton for our while loop. Now inside here what we need to do is we first need to assign the variable file to reading the directory because what's going to happen is file is then going to exist for every, every loop. It's going to exist for each element or if each file in our directory. 